I used to be a lorry driver for many years, unloading and loading lorries, jumping up and down off the lorry. All in all, I was pretty fit up to about, uh, I would think about 18 months ago, when I was getting a shortness of breath, then pains in my chest, which at first could have been mistaken for um, too much to eat, you know, heartburn, etc. Anyhow, one day I walked out to get the car and I had such a terrific pain in my chest. And then I thought, well, there's something wrong. You hear about these things, like any other illness, and you don't think it'll ever happen to me. And it did. And it did come as a bit of a shock when I was finally told that I would need a triple heart bypass. It was a total shock when we realised that he had to have a triple bypass because there was no way on this earth I would have thought that, you know. Um, we knew he was in good hands because there's a fantastic cardiac team up there. I mean, I've actually seen the operation myself. Uh, I knew what it entailed, so of course there was a lot of worry because it's a major operation, you know. And, um, you know, we did worry, but they did put us at ease the night before though, when we when he went in um, they were really good. He had to stay in an extra couple of days uh, because um, he had an abnormal heart rhythm. So they did a cardio version which is um, paddles to the heart just to get it back into normal rhythm again, which was fine and it's, and it's fantastic the recovery he's made. You know, the, I couldn't thank them enough, you know, they've been really good. Well, I was told by the doctors and the nurses that uh, as soon as I got home, first of all, take it easy, but then you must exercise. You must get up, get out the chair, get moving. So after six weeks, I got my bike out the shed and started to uh, go for rides. Well, it's a relief to see how fantastically he has done. It's a relief to see he's so healthy now. Um, I mean, he goes off on his bike, he bikes all over. But also, I've gained a house husband. He cleans, he hoovers, he irons. Um, I don't have to do anything when I come home from work, you know, and that's <laughs> it's a really uh, fantastic that I hate housework. <laughs> My wife Anne has been uh, really tremendous in the recovery over the last few months. She took a uh, fortnight off work to make sure I didn't do things stupidly and start over and up too early. And uh, she really was a tremendous help. She was a nurse for many years, so she knows, she knows the pitfalls that can happen if you try to do too much too soon. I was told when I was discharged from Castle Little not to go home, sit down, and start feeling sorry for myself. What's done's done. You can't change the past. Think of the future and try to put behind you what you've had done. Try not to think, should I have done this? Should I have done that? Should I have done the other? And get on with life. Don't sit and vegetate because depression can creep up on you. And that is a thing you want to avoid at all costs. Looking back, I suppose I fell into that stereotype of long distance drive with a bit of a belly, eating the wrong stuff at the wrong time. But one of the main reasons was that when he was a long distance driver, he used to fill up your belly because you never knew when you was going to get your next meal. And like I said uh, to a friend of mine, in them days it was always anything you like as long as it was fried. I didn't really think what I was pushing down my throat. <laughs> Bacon. Sausage rolls, fried eggs, things like that. I used to love butter on white bread, but them gone now, I don't have them. If I have butter now, it tastes strange. I've always liked fish, so I eat more fish now than vegetables. I love my veg, any type of vegetable. When I'm walking around, instead of popping in the butchers and getting a sausage roll, I'll go next door to the veg shop buy an apple or a banana or both and leave the sausage rolls alone and that's how I am now I really watch what I eat what I put down in the back of my throat what would I advise anybody well it, there's various things first of all stop smoking 
That's the worst thing. Stop drinking. And the biggest thing is exercise. Get out, get fit, garden, cycle, anything as long as you're moving. It's so easy, if you have a car, leave it. Walk to work if you can, if it's not too far that is. Walk to the shop instead of jumping in your car and going for a bottle of milk. Walk there. The more you exercise, the more the blood flows, faster through your veins. So keep active, get on your bike, as the old expression goes, really look after yourself. Watch what you eat, watch what you drink, give up smoking, that's a big thing if you can. Watch your weight. I did it, I got on with it, and I think if you find yourself in that position, I would do the same. So get out there, get active. If I can do it after a triple heart bypass, anybody can. Oh, second enough. <laughs> you don't want to do a wheel in here.